హలో ఇన్ దిస్ ప్రశాంత్ యూర్ ఆర్ వెల్కమ్ టు మై ఛానల్ టుడే వీ గోయింగ్ టు సీ వన్ ఆఫ్ ఇంపార్టెంట్ టాపిక్ కాల్డ్ విండోస్ హ్యాండ్లింగ్ ఇన్ ప్లే రైట్ వీ కాల్డ్ పేజెస్ హ్యాండ్లింగ్ ఓకే పేజెస్ సో వాట్ ద పేజెస్ మీన్స్ రైట్ నో సీ ఐ మీన్ దిస్ పేజ్ ఓకే వెన్ ఐ క్లిక్ ఆన్ దిస్ క్లిక్ బటన్ వాట్ ఈస్ హ్యాపనింగ్ ద న్యూ ట్యాబ్ ఇస్ ఓపెనింగ్ ద న్యూ ట్యాబ్ లైక్ దిస్ ఇస్ మై ట్యాబ్ అండ్ న్యూ దిస్ ఇస్ అ న్యూ ట్యాబ్ ఓకే బోత్ లైక్ దిస్ ఇస్ అ పేరెంట్ ట్యాబ్ అండ్ దిస్ ఇస్ అ చైల్డ్ ట్యాబ్ థింక్ లైక్ దట్ కీప్ అన్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ పేరెంట్ అండ్ చైల్డ్ so i want to move from parent pages to child page okay that is the matter how we are going to implement in play it that only we are going to study today so we'll jump on to the as usual video so last class we studied about dialog box right so this class we are going to see the pages pages uh, switch like how we move on page to another page okay so i'm going to as usual from a playwright dot sync api from import he from here from this with the sync query as a p so we need to create a browser from the p dot chromium chrome browser and should be launch in the headless mode that's it okay this as usual up to this no not a change here we're going to see one one of our one topic called context so i'm going to create a context from the browser like a new context so you can ask me so what is context from yesterday's up to yesterday we're using pages so this is the entry question so what is the difference between pages and context pages is it stores only one page or one tab context can store more than one or two tabs more than one tabs okay so like multiple tabs so that's why we create a context from this context i'm going to create a new page okay context ka dot new page cool right because the context can can store multiple pages after that as usual we need to go to the url so i will give you this url in the description so please take it from the description below okay after going to the page first thing is we need to find the location of this button click button okay i am going to click on the button and click on the inspect and i am clicking on the control f it will open the prompt in below this is i am going to write xpath so if you are any doubt on xpath please watch the third day video so on this web element as a tag as button tag and you don't have any proper attributes so and there's a click is there so i'm copying the click so i'm here i'm going to give the tag name square bracket i'm going to use a contains method in this method i'm going to use a text because this is a text we copying okay i'm pasting this it's one of one okay so here i'm coming pages dot wait for the selector i am going to give the selector dot click method because i want to click on the button so if i click on the button automatically this will open a new tab okay so for this i am going to wait for couple of seconds because you know right so when we opening it will takes couple of seconds to load the new child page okay like okay, next thing is here the question comes how like generally how to find the total pages right now there are two pages what are the pages one is child pages and another is parent one so how can i know the both the pages so total pages so how to know the total pages for that we need to use context dot pages method so this method will give the list so okay in in python we have a concept called list so list is a kind of a storage as a array like the format of index order 0 to the length of a size of a list okay so this total will take the all the list okay so to find the number of list of length of a list is we need to use a length method i want to pass the total pages so it will print the total pages okay after that i will show you using for loop for i in total pages so this is the for loop 
it start from i and it's run up to the total pages inside this i'm going to print the i value so this for loop will be keep on loops until the list ends so it's i print the first letter and second one okay i will show here so right click run this pages see this there are totally count is 2 you got right totally 2 and it are two pages what are the pages first one is our given url next one is newly opened url there are two pages right so successfully we completed next thing how can i store the new name new page how can i store the new page so for that the new page i'm giving a variable called new page from the total pages i want to take the first index because zeroth index our parent page is stored in the first index child will store so i am storing the child in the as a new variable new page is i name it as a new page okay from that here the entry question how to switch to new page how you will go so for that new page dot bring in front i'm telling this is the important method name you want to remember how we will switch to new page means new page dot bring to front so the child will come front right now okay that is how we need to bring the thing so here before that i am going to print the page what is the page page is a parent mind i am printing the title of parent after bringing a bringing in i am printing new new page dot title so this title will bring the parent title this will bring the child title okay so you simply understood right so here i this is the minus you want to as a bring title then i am going to close the new page close the so they will interview they will ask you so what the close will do to close will do close the tab which is you are right now working on if you want to close this tab means it will close only this tab not the other tabs okay that is called close you want to understand clearly close will close only current tab which is you are using so i am new page closing a tab then you can ask question how can i close all the browsers means so the for that you want to use a browser dot close it will close all the open tabs together that is the only difference so here i am going to use a couple of weights okay after switching to the new page after closing the new page i wait till couple of seconds okay right click i am running on the page is very simple only couple of methods you want to remember but this is very important entry question okay obviously if you are going for anyone going for playwright interview you will get this question see this it's printed the parent name first then it's printed the child name first so you went to the it is bring it to the things suppose how you come back to parent how you will bring in the parent means after closing the parent child you can use page dot bring to front this will bring the parent to front after closing the child in this 23rd line after that i am bringing the parent to front okay so here you want to understand what what are the topics we need to use a bring to front method that is to bring into front and you want to use the context page is a list to collect the all the pages list concept so every one interview will ask you so what pages will return the context dot pages will return the list okay i will write it down also well. this will bring the A list okay is a important entry question okay then another important question how you store the new page in a variable so this this is how you want to store it and what is the difference between page dot close and browser dot close browser dot close will close all the browser page close once the current tab okay cool then right so thanks for watching if you have faced any issues please put me in the comment i will be i will uh, like debug it and tell the reason why it say anything any failure comes 
so if you like the video please like subscribe and share to your friends thanks for watching